Normally, we humans trust beetles to just do their thing, and we'll leave each other alone. But some beetles in Hawaii have broken this ancient truce, threatening the entire ecosystem. To find out how to fight them, we sent Marina to meet with forest ecologist Kyle Roy. Some bugs are good. These pollinate plants, butterflies are beautiful, and ants have a couple of good ideas. But not every bug is great. In fact, some are pure trouble, like the ambrosia beetle. Here in Hilo, Hawaii, it's attacking native trees and therefore endangering the entire rainforest. I'm gonna meet up with Kyle Roy, a forest entomologist, to find out more. I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I didn't always know that I was gonna study insects, and I kinda just fell into it. To be able to work and like do this as a job is a dream come true. Today, I'm on the big island of Hawaii at the Waiakea Forest Reserve. The heart of this forest is the ohia tree, a keystone species that not only provides habitat for endangered birds and insects, but also is often the first plant to bring life to lava flows. Kyle is gonna tell me why this critical tree is endangered and how she's working to solve a big problem by studying itty bitty beetles. So you're a forest entomologist. What does that mean exactly? I actually just literally study insects in the forest. We have a lot of invasive species here mm. in Hawaii. And right now I've been working on studying these invasive ambrosia beetles. This is a tree, a ohia tree that has died from a fungal disease called rapid ohia death. They've killed at least 1 million trees in Hawaii so far. Wow. So there's still a lot of nice forest left, but we would like to prevent them from turning into a graveyard like this place. So what's happening here? We're actually testing a beetle repellent. So it works just like a mosquito repellent, but we're trying to prevent the beetles from attacking the trees. So these are the beetles here on a sticky cards. Right here, you can see this is actually the beetle repellent. These are actually vials containing ethanol, which is an attractant because it simulates tree stress, and that's what brings in the beetles. So the scent of ethanol attracts the beetles, they get stuck, and then you can track how many are coming and whether or not this is working. Yep, exactly. We want to prevent them from creating this frass. What is frass? When they're creating their homes, they're chewing up wood and kicking it out into the environment. In there, there can be viable fungal spores, and that's how the disease spreads. So you can just see like how much frass they are making. Since stopping the frass and the fungus depends on the beetle repellent, Kyle studies its volatiles, or smells, in her lab. This lets them know how long the active ingredient lasts in Hawaii's humid environment and how often they need to reapply it. A vacuum attached to this airtight chamber pulls air through a special filter. This is actually gonna collect all of the smells onto it. Ooh, yeah. okay, a smell vacuum. Yeah. yeah, it's a smell vacuum. Kyle also captures the smells of the trees themselves, like this ohia tree that's been infected by the fungus. Capturing these volatiles lets Kyle study the chemical messages trees send out when under attack. We're hoping that it could eventually lead to early detection before there's any symptoms. And create like an early warning system. Yeah. So now that you've collected all these smells, what happens? We're gonna insert it into a machine called a GCMS. It's a gas chromatograph, which is coupled to a mass spectrometry machine. A, a gas chromat... Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. What does that do? So it actually just vaporizes the compound. That way we can actually identify the different compounds that are coming out. The repellent is a relatively new approach to fighting the fungus. But by studying the beetles, perfecting her techniques, and discovering ways to detect infection early, she hopes to stop the spread of the disease and ultimately save the critically important Ohia forest on the island of Hawaii and beyond. Thank you so much for today. Forest entomology is super interesting and I love your passion for saving native trees. Yeah, you're welcome. I had a really great time. Oh, good. Well, if I see any ambrosia beetles on the way out, can I just like give them a really hard time? Oh, well, you can save that for the scientists. Okay, yeah, it makes total sense. Thank you. I'm rooting for you. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.